Dr. John, uh, here's the video I promised I'd do for you. And if you're a Paint Shop Pro user and your name is not John, um, you, you can watch this as well. This is about doing um, mask layers. And actually, the reason I'm doing it is because John had pointed out to me that uh, I had whirled through another mask layers video and not explained where I got all my adjustments and, and how I got all the things done. And, and I guess I assume that everybody who uh, was watching it understood all the little bits and pieces about uh, Paint Shop Pro and, and I and I was probably wrong so uh, this is my attempt to correct that so what I'm going to use in this video are the layers palette and I use the materials palette and, and in Corel Paint Shop Pro X6 I'm going to use the uh, layers menu and that's pretty much it um, I might go into the effects menu the photo effects uh, black and white might go there uh, but I don't think I'm going to use anything else so let's get going on this and uh, I'll explain as I go so this is a picture I took at what was it called fan fest and it was a gathering of all the uh, the uh, science fiction fans and everybody was well not everybody but so many people were dressed up and this guy was was quite striking actually when you, when you look at him um, it's 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 almost like looking at a, a real mask of V, you know, V for Vendetta, but it's a real life human being, and I don't think V had this kind of a thing. So I I don't know who this guy is, uh, well who who is purported to be, but he looks good. So let's do some work to to mess around with this, and then we can use a mask layer. So if I wanted to, uh, when I use the mask layer, I, I want to do something to uh, to the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this by right-clicking on the background layer and duplicate. And I'm using my Wacom pen because it just works so easily. And I've got one of the buttons on my pen set to the right-click. So now I've got a copy of the background. So now I'm going to do something to that. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here to the uh, adjustment layers. And I'm going to go to local tone mapping. And this, you know, that's not much change. But wait till I do this and this. Give them full bore. Now that is kind of neat. You gotta admit that that looks kind of cool. Um, so what I want to do is, uh, I think I might turn this into black and white and then bring him back. But I want to do a mask layer first and see what happens. So I'm gonna tap on the mask layers here, or I'm gonna go to the layers palette here and say new mask layer. Now you notice I can't do anything because uh, I can't put a mask layer over top of an adjustment layer. So I have to get this and this together. And you do that by going to the layers palette and going to the merge and merging down. It's got to be merged down, nothing else. If you go anything else you'll probably get the whole thing flattened and that's not what you want. Okay so now I've got that done. Underneath we still have the original and this is the uh, local tone mapping. Now I'm going to add one more thing here. I want to make this black and white. And uh, I can use channel mixer if I want, but I don't think I want to. So I'm going to take, get rid of that, and I'm going to go over to effects. Come on, effects, let's go. Oh, Paint Shop Pro is, is saving. There we go. Effects, photo effects, black and white film. And uh, there, ooh, that's kind of cool. And you can move this around in here and get all kinds of different black and white effects with it. Um, if you say suggest color, it'll it'll go and grab the color for you. It it likes the blues uh, for this particular one. Let's see if I hit there, suggest color. There it does it. Okay, so I'll just we'll just accept that. Okay. Now I have got this and I have got this. And I want to bring through some of, especially his face and maybe some of the colorful areas uh, so you can see them through here. So I'm going to go to this, uh, no, I'm sorry, the mask, show all, or conversely, I will go to layers, uh, new mask layer, show all, and now I get this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint right here with black 
and that's where the layers palette come or the materials palette comes in black is my foreground color and when I do that it's gonna punch a hole through here so what is down here in the bottom of the layers palette will show through and that sounds maybe confusing but that's what's gonna happen and it happens perfectly well so let's zoom in a bit on this guy's face so I got the zoom tool I'm gonna zoom in I still think I could stop right here and be quite happy with the whole thing, you know. And uh, get my brush. Now I'm going to do this with uh, pressure sensitivity because I do have uh, uh, my layers palette or my uh, block and tablet connected here. So I'm going to brush variants. This is brush variants. And if you have a tablet installed, then you can use this thing and you can change all kinds of things. I'm going to change uh, the opacity setting. To be pressure as I press harder it'll get darker okay so that's all I'm gonna do now just the thought occurred to me as I was looking at this the eyes are kind of dramatic so I'm gonna get the brush and I'm press the alt key and and go up toward the top of the tablet and that makes it smaller and let's see what happens if we come in here and just do his eyes he doesn't have very colorful eyes so I guess not much is going to happen. Well, we can look at it. You know, this is a video and we can do anything we want. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. I think you can see a bit of color in there. Okay, let's uh, get the brush again. Make it a bit bigger. And we are working with opacity, so we'll just very lightly paint in his face. There we go. And I've got the hardness of this brush set right down here to zero. So it's going to have soft edges. And maybe we'll bring back some of this hat. Just a bit of the color in this hat. We're going to have to put a lot in, just a bit. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of thing to taste. And if you're not happy with something you've done, you flip around the white. And the white will bring back uh, what you just did. So I just brought his hat back because I didn't like what I'd done there. And I'm going to go back to the black. And we get a bit of that edge on his face there. And around there. Oh, he forgot his ear. Can't forget the guy's ear. And there we go. Now I can keep doing this and fiddling around and going black and white, black and white till I get the whole thing done to my satisfaction but you know this is just a, um, a quick video to show you how to use it and how everything goes together for that so that's what I've got now um, now this is what I've ended up with I've got the, the mask layer copy the background uh, the mask copy the background now this you can't see it very well but there's a hole punched right through here so what's what was on the original is showing through now, if I wanted to see the original, I'd, what I'd do is right-click on the background layer, and uh, it should give us a view menu. No, I guess it's not doing it in this version. Okay, so I've got the background highlighted. I can go layers, view, current only, and we're saving again, sorry. Oh, paint shop, stop saving. There. That's the original. Now I can uh, go back to layers, view, and uh, all. And we're back to here. So that's how you do it. That's how you use a mask layer. And they're darn fun. And you can do some very creative things with them. And, uh, oops, I suppose I should be on the right layer, right? Oh. So I messed that up, didn't I? Undo, undo paintbrush. There, I think I'm back to where I want to be. Okay, so John, I hope that helps you understand where I got the menus from and uh, how to manipulate them. Manipulate them. And uh, if you have any more questions, give me give me a shout uh, either through my website or through YouTube. Okay, thanks. Bye.